Hey guys, I'm Nick and today we will be recreating this melting brain effect originally seen on New Plastic and requested by our friend Abdullah. And New Plastic did that in Cinema 4D and I'll show you the really easy way to create this melting effect in Houdini. But first let's take a look at what you guys did following my tutorials. This one is from Alex Fox Fry and what I particularly love in this uh, animation is that moment when there's just wires, you know, it's, it's very abstract and then they form a brain and, you know, that's, that's super cool. The only thing I could comment here is that these first frames maybe you could add a bit of attribute blur to break up the uniform to, to make it bit more organic but it's always up to you. Annotation to this tutorial is in the top right corner and if you want to share with me what you come up with following my tutorials feel free to tag or better to DM me on my social media all the links are in the description and if you are enjoying my tutorials and want to support me consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and also check Gumroad for project files, assets and all that cool stuff you could use in your daily 3D workflow. As we will be using shelf tools, I thought it would be cool if I just show you the nodes and how they work on simple geometric forms and then we move on to the actual project with the brain, skull and all that jazz. So we will need two geo nodes. let's drop one call it heater and uh, let's drop a second one and let's call it uh, mesh I don't know or object so in the object we will need to drop a, I don't know maybe sphere right and uh, let's make it polygon a bit more frequency all right cool maybe let's make it a bit more bit bigger here in the heater add another object let it be a sphere and let's move it out a bit but just like just like this and uh, let's add a null it should be out heater and here we can call in the object we can add now call it out object now we will be using shelf tools so we will need ambitious fluids i think this one so uh, let's select our object here the one that we will be melting and let's hit melt object it creates this sort of uh, dop network we have our flip fluid object gas temperature merge and gravity right now if i hit play it will just fall off so yeah we have our gravity but what we can do is here in the flip fluid object add viscosity to be 10,000 like absolute maximum here and then we also will need to turn off the gravity so it's all good also here in the flip fluid object let's decrease our temp be zero and you can see that particles turn black all over the particles is bind to the temperature so let's add a heater here and how you can do that it's just here let's select our heater and let's create key within object um, so once again click on the heater then click heat within object and here it says select fluid object to heat press enter to complete so we try to kind of click on this one select a flip fluid object and press and and here we have our heating volume and right now I can press escape to toggle the camera and let's check what happens not too much we see that here it kind of emitted heat just a little bit but what we will need to do is here in the gas temperature update we will need to enable temperature diffusion and also we will need to up the radius maybe heat bias we don't need to create outer cooling rate so let's decrease that and yeah maybe let's check so now you see that we are heating our sphere also here you can just uncheck enable cooling we don't we don't need that uh, in the heat bias and radius we can even increase it increased more so yeah see that it is slowly becoming more and more red and the thing is here in the gas temperature update 
you can see that there is a solidified threshold and this means that when the temperature meets 0.15 degrees and if we have gravity all the stuff will melt and this is where I want to walk you through my project so here we are by the way this complete setup is available on my Gumroad uh, link is in the description go check it out so what I've done here I imported the skull that in Cinema 4D I just sliced uh, the top of the of the skull uh, then there is our brain model and then there is a heater so for the brain and the heater uh, those are exact same workflows just I imported the file I unpacked it dropped a match size node so it's centered transformed subdivided and that's our brain and for the heater is just yeah simple sphere um, these two nodes out temperature and render are created by uh, these uh, shelf tools so yeah and there's our brain fluid and this node is also generated by the shelf tool so it's it's automatically here but all the interesting stuff happens in uh, out of dot work so let's go there my mesh here is absolutely extremely dense so first of all to walk you through i will need to make the particle separation to be like 0 0.1 now that's better that will run pretty fast maybe we could go 0 0.08 uh, you can see that gravity is turned off and we actually don't need that uh, we have our heating volume here basically all the same decrease rate set to zero increase rate set to one in gas temperature update we can see that I just uh, enabled temperature diffusion, set uh, heat BS to 0.8, radius to 1, maximum viscosity, solidified threshold, all the thing I told you in the first part. Um, here I added a bit of friction and also maxed out the viscosity. And yeah, that's basically it. Uh, and this sphere heater is animated. And then you can see here in goes and it heats our brain and it melts and by the way today is the hottest day in Latvia for last 200 or even 300 years so my brain is is really melting so let's play it again see in real time Cool. But now there is a point, as you see, there is no gravity attached, but somehow things that melt are going down, but our brain, when it's solid, they, it stays in place. So here, this is the important part. So we will need to drop a pop group, and uh, here, let's name it like melting or something, and here in Vex, uh, we just check if at temperature is more than 0.3, uh, this particle is in the group and here I add a pop force for the group melting and the pop force is just our gravity it's point it's uh, minus 9.8 then I added a pop drag so these particles just have a, a bit of air resistance I don't know and here in the pop wrangle the parameter ballistic in a short form it determines if the particle will be affected by the gravity or any other forces here it is set to be equal to reverse value of the current point being in the point group so basically what it means that ballistic that particles that are ballistic are the particles that are not in the group so basically what it means that the particles that are not in the group of melting particles are staying in place and those are the particles which temperature is less than as said here point three so that's how you can create this cool effect when gravity affects our melting particles in the auto dot network i just said the flip fluid object particle separation to be 0.1 it's super dense it's uh, the alembic itself for just these 240 frames, it's 10 seconds if rendering at 24 FPS. It takes 28 gigabytes, so it's really heavy. Now let's open up Cinema 4D and I will show you how not to ruin your 
render engine or GPU. Alright, so we are in Cinema 4D. You could probably hear fans of my laptop going crazy, but let's start the render. I'm rendering this uh, with the direct lighting kernel and why direct lighting sometimes can potentially be much much more faster uh, compared to pass tracing. Check one of my previous videos, the annotation will be in the top right corner. And let's check this one out. So the setup here is pretty easy. It's uh, There's one volume measure, it's just for the skull because I cut his skull open. But uh, for the fluid, and that's interesting, here I exported the Alembic, this brain fluid Alembic. So here's the trick. Let me pause the Octane render because now things are getting heavy. And uh, here, let me turn off my camera. You can see that we don't have any grid in our volume sim. And this poor guy's brains are powering infinitely, infinitely, but our Octane render will still try to calculate them. And the thing is, this box field here is essentially removing all the unnecessary liquid or melted brain. And that's how we can save insane amount of polygons, because right now with this box field, this one uh, says that we have 1.1 million triangles. And you can just imagine if I wouldn't set this box here and it will take a lot of time to calculate but just trust me you need to, this box field here you don't have all this liquid brain uh, eating your vram so here in terms of lighting very simple setup light here light on top um, also a cold light underneath just to make the liquid here a bit more bluish when it falls and the skull maybe also just a tint of uh, blue. Also in the volume builder I added a reshape layer and the smooth layer just so we have nice looking liquid. It's still not the most realistic approach but still who knows how the melted brain looks. So yeah, this is how you create this liquid brain in Houdini and render out in Cinema 4D. Alright guys, that's all, thanks so much for watching and if you are looking forward to seeing more videos about 3D design and animation, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and also check my Gumroad for useful assets and project files. All the links are in the description, go check them out. I will be back with another tutorial very soon. Bye!